Hey, science fans! Welcome back to another episode of Science at Home. Today we're going to do a science demonstration that involves milk and food coloring, a little bit of dish soap, and the other things that you're going to need are some kind of a dish. I have a pie plate here, but you could just use any flat bottom dish, um, and then some cotton swabs. Boop. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is take our milk and pour it in the bottom of our dish, just covering the bottom of the dish maybe about a quarter of an inch deep. And then what we're going to want to do is place one drop of each color of our food coloring in the center of the dish. Keep them just a little bit separated from each other. There we go. Now, if we take one of our cotton swabs, just dry, let's put it in the center and see what happens. Nothing happens, it just sits there. So we're gonna do the demo part of this right now. And what I'm gonna do is take my cotton swab and I'm gonna put it in some of this dish soap and get that soap all over the end of that cotton swab. And then I'm gonna place the swab right in the center and I'm just gonna hold it there for a moment. And you can watch as these colors all move and swirl. And in fact, you can take that cotton swab and you can move it around to different parts of the dish and watch what happens. All right, so what was happening when we placed the cotton swab covered in dish soap into the milk was that the milk was started moving all around. And using the food coloring as a dye, we could actually watch that movement. So why was it moving? Well, soap is a really fascinating molecule. It is what is called a bipolar molecule. So one end of the molecule is hydrophilic, which means that it really loves water, and the other end is, is hydrophobic, which means that it really doesn't like water. Well, milk is made up mostly of water, but it also contains a lot of fat. And so what was happening was the hydrophilic end of the soap would attach to the water and the hydrophobic end of the soap was trying to get away from the water and attach to the oil, to the fat in the milk. And as one end of the molecule was trying to attach to the water and one end was attached to the soap, those molecules were moving all around and doing a little soap dance, soap gymnastics. And by looking at the food coloring in that milk, we were able to watch that happen and watch it all interchange and react. All right, now this is the part of Science at Home where you get to experiment with this. So today I was using 1% milk, which has a fairly low fat content. What would happen if you tried this with 2% milk or maybe even whole milk or whipping cream? All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this week's edition of Science at Home. I hope that you give this a try and why don't you share your results with us on social media? Use the hashtag Science at Home or the Sask Science Center hashtag, and let us see your results with this experiment.